everyone, it's Havoc with the HTC YouTube Gaming Channel, and today I am taming a Tuso Toothus, or Giant Squid, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let me bring up the map here. I'm actually right above the Artifact of the Devourer at 47.5 latitude, 2.5 longitude, way off on the west uh, side of the map. So I've actually already fed this uh, Tuso Toothus twice, and I was like, well, hey, I might also make a video uh, of me doing this so everybody can see how to do it. Um, the first time I fed it, uh, it, 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 it takes 50 black pearls every time you feed it. Um, and you need to have the black pearls in your zero slot. Um, it's a passive tame. Uh, but the first time I fed it, it, it went to about 17.5% taming. Uh, the second time I fed it, it went up to about 34%. Uh, um, so I'm going back down to tame it, uh, or uh, feed it the third time, and uh, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. And I'm going to fast forward because this can take a little bit of time and finesse, so bear with me, and uh, I'm going to put on fast forward now so we can just get straight to the action. Okay, so as you can see there, um, it grabbed onto my carbonomies or carbonomies, carbonomies, and um, I hopped off, went to its mouth, and fed it. Now. It takes about five minutes in between feedings, um, so I'm just gonna kind of skip forward um, a little bit, uh, and we'll get to the next feeding. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. I've just kind of been following it, uh, just hovering over it, following it. Um, now I'm gonna jump on my turtle here and kind of try to repeat what I did that uh, first time. Uh, you really want to make sure that you look around and uh, just check to see if there's any other Tuso Toothuses around. Uh, if there's another one coming at you, um, that's not good. So you just try to be careful. There's also electric eels and jellyfish and anglerfish. All sorts of stuff to worry about. So Okay, so five minutes seem to do the trick. Um, full disclosure, the first time I fed it, uh, it took maybe a little bit longer um, before I could feed it again. So it might be kind of like the dung beetle where you feed it that first time and then you gotta wait a while um, before you can feed it a second time. Uh, but after you feed it that second time, uh, the length between feedings shortens. So um, I'm just gonna cut forward to uh, the next 50 black pearls. Okay, so it's been about another five minutes, and um, I'm seeing another Tuso Tooth that's not far away. So I'm gonna try to be really careful here. Oh, missed him. Come on. Okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I saw it right over there, so I'm just gonna be kind of vigilant. Again, for that five minutes, I was just kind of uh, staying above this uh, giant squid. 
um, just to keep it in sight and um, waiting for that five minute timer to expire so I can uh, beat it again. Okay, it's got a hold of me. Is that other squid coming? No, okay. So let's get in there. All right, one step closer. Yeah, and I have the turtle following my Basilosaur, so um, once it's done, and it's on passive, so once the giant squid is done attacking it, the turtle will come up towards me, and sometimes the giant uh, squid will grab onto it a second time, which it's not going to do. So that's awesome. And I highly recommend waiting the full five minutes. Um, otherwise, your turtle is going to be taking a lot more damage than it needs to. I did bring a total of four Carbonomies um, turtles uh, in case one of them got low on health. I could go grab a, a, a different one um, to use as bait. So um, we're just going to skip forward to the next feeding, and that might be the last one before it's tamed. Okay, so it's been another five minutes, and it looks like it's starting to get dark out, so hopefully this will be the last time I have to do this before it's tamed. Looking around, making sure there's no electric fields or anything around. Okay. Come on, you can grab me. There we go. All right, I like to wait a second after it grabs me, um, just to make sure that it's got a good hold. Okay, so five minutes didn't do it that time. So we're gonna skip forward. I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes, and uh, um, I'll probably wait three more minutes, and then we'll see if it's ready to eat again. Okay, so it's been an additional three minutes for a total of eight minutes since the last time I was able to feed it. Um, hopefully it will eat this time, especially since it's getting dark and this Carbonomy is uh, a little bit less than half of its health left. I do have other Carbonomies up by the raft, um, but it would just be nice to knock this out with just one. Okay, looks like it's going to go for the grab. Missed. There we go. Wait a second. Okay. There it is. Okay, so I did bring a saddle with me. Let's get on this sucker. All right. And then we'll get these guys back to the raft. Oh, here's a couple of my other turtles. I don't know why they came down here. I must have accidentally left them on neutral. Come on. Okay, let's look at the stats here real quick. So, uh, max level cap for wild dinos is 300. This one was level 290, uh, so almost perfect. It got tamed at level 434. So, this is uh, a bit of a monster. Um, so, just overall general advice, I recommend breeding uh, two high-level Carbonomies, uh, the turtles. Uh, get a high level male, high level female, and breed them. Try to get that speed uh, speed modifier up, uh, the speed stat. Um, and then any additional levels above that, I highly recommend um, uh, boosting its health. Um, the more health that they have, the longer they can survive, and the more repetitions you can make with feeding uh, the Tuso Toothus. And, um, you know, I think I could have probably done this with just two. Um, again, this was a level 290 out of 300, so it was a fairly high level one. Um, so breed the Carbonomies, uh, take two or three of the offspring that have the speed up, boost their health, wait a while, you know, and level them up, boost their health, um, get them good saddles, and then only have one of them follow you around at a time. And I highly recommend the Basilosaur as the primary mount, as you can see what I used. Um, because if you do run into electric eels, um, it won't, the electric eels don't really affect the Basilosaur. So um, same with the jellyfish. Uh, the squid can't grab the Basilosaur. It's the perfect mount 
uh, for taming the giant squid. And um, if you bring more than one turtle around with you, uh, chances are is that things are going to kind of get a little bit confusing. Uh, you know, with anglerfish coming out of nowhere, attacking your turtles, uh, the giant squid will actually hurt multiple turtles at a time. Uh, so you always got to worry about just the, the mess that you can have going on if you bring more than one. I highly recommend bringing one down with you, following the basilosaur, keep them on passive. Uh, when it's time, hop on your turtle that's uh, following your basilosaur, write it down, have the giant squid um, hold on to your um, uh, turtle. Wait a second, because if you hop off too early, you can risk uh, dying. Um, so wait a second, hop off, feed it, and um, go back to your basilosaur and try to get above, uh, straight above um, where the giant squid and turtle are. And that way the turtle can kind of swim straight up and really kind of make uh, a good distance away from the uh, Tuso Tuthis. Um, and uh, let's see here, what else, what else? Um, yeah, so this is on the Ragnarok map, but the strategy applies to all maps. Um, and just to make sure that you know where we're at here, um, we're right above the Artifact of the Deviant on the Ragnar Ragnarok map. And it's at 47.5 latitude, about two longitude. Um, and there's a lot of giant squid down there, so be careful. If you see another one, you might want to wait until they kind of step away, away from each other. Um, look out for the electric eels, look out for the jellyfish. Um, bring plenty of black pearls. I think that one took me about 300 black pearls, but it was a level 290. Um, every feeding it um, tamed at about, about 18% per feeding. Uh, so it took me five or six times to actually tame this Tuso Tuthis. And, um, you know, wait, wait at least five minutes in between feedings. Um, that way you're not wasting your Carbonomy's health. Um, other than that, I think that's about it. You might want to bring some stamina potions. Uh, when you're down there, you can run out of stamina and that can get you into a lot of trouble. I never had to use mine, um, but it's not a bad safety precaution. Um, oh, another thing I don't think I mentioned is to actually feed the Tuso Tuthis, you need to have the black pearls in your zero slot on your tool belt. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments section. I'd be happy to answer it. And um, as always, thank you so much for your viewership, and we'll see you next time.